In conclusion to all that we have said, I want to remind my fellow Ugandans that the time of bullshitting is over. We have to be prepared to remove this murderous regime by force or any other means possible. Unfortunately, we are not like the Ababega, which is a group of the Batusi who are notorious for poisoning. So we are not going to poison them because we don't know how to do that. But we can use any other means from peaceful to non-peaceful. But nothing is going to be short of flexing, uh, flexing muscles. We have to do that. And the sooner we embark on that project, the better. Otherwise, as people have said, every human life is precious. Tomorrow, someone is going to be murdered. And after tomorrow, another Ugandan is going to be murdered by the same people. And we are doing nothing. I haven't heard of any case, whether taken to the Muruka level or to the high court level, are choosing the murderers of murdering a Ugandan. And that is what pains me and it pains many Ugandans. We have to stop looking at these fellows who are working for this regime in disguise. Because they are the ones who are sustaining it. Maybe they are doing it unknowingly, but that's the outcome of the activities. My fellow Ugandans, get ready for action because that's the only option we have. Thank you very much.